Okay, so this is the third time I'm trying to do this video. The first time I was going to do a reaction to the DLC 3 trailer for Sledgehammer's World War 2 Zombies. But we'll get into that in a minute. The second time I tried to do this video and I accidentally deleted the footage because it's going to be a face cam video. Now I can't be bothered to do that because I've packed everything away and it basically is going to take too long for me to get everything up again. But stupidly I deleted all the footage and I also deleted the audio for that so that's not going to work. And I tried to recover it but it's not working right now so this is the third time I'm doing this video. And I'm probably going to cut it down a bit now. Because the original video I was going to do was about 15 minutes long and it was me ranting. I don't like to come across as a ranter by any means. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to try and voice my opinion. So I'm going to try and do that as quick as I can in this video. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. But I do want to talk about the DLC 3's trailer that we've just got tonight. And how the fact that we don't have any zombies whatsoever in the trailer. How Activision... Have made that choice basically not Sledgehammer themselves, but Activision have made that choice to tell Sledgehammer that we're not going to like show any zombies map whatsoever in the trailer. I think that's a stupid like choice on their part, and it's also such a bad tactic for marketing their game or at least marketing the DLC. The issue I have with this is the fact that it seems like Activision just don't care about the zombies community and. It just seems like all they care about is as long as we play the game, then it's fine and they'll just get the money and whatever. Because we all know that Activision basically are like probably the most money hungry game corporation that there is. Go part and part with like the whole Black Ops 4, Black Ops Pass thing. Um, That's not what I'm going to be focusing on in this video. But obviously the whole controversy around the Black Ops Pass, they've had to change it so people would be more happy. Originally, obviously you could only get it if you purchase certain really expensive versions of Black Ops 4. Now they've changed it so you can buy it regardless, so you can buy it separately or whatever. And I actually think the Black Ops Pass is a good thing now, but Activision originally did it in such a bad way that like just so many people just didn't like the way they were doing it because they were doing it to try and make like loads of money and to basically sc not scam us, but to uh, like bleed us dry like as much money as they possibly could. But the DLC 3 trailer, we literally had like 2 minutes something and it showed us multiplayer only in the entire trailer. There was no mentions of zombies apart from the last frame or the last like, little bit. Three little images of zombies next to each other which to me signify that potentially we could get the three zombies map for this DLC. This goes hand in hand with the trophy that we had the other day that tells us about like, I can't remember what it was exactly talking about now but it says do it in all maps. It doesn't even say do it in both maps to imply that it's going to be two maps. It doesn't say in the map to imply it's going to be one map. But it said do it in all maps, which implies it would be at least three maps for this DLC. I spoke about this in my video that I was speaking about. I can't remember. It was my, my last video, two videos ago, whatever. But I spoke about this and I said in that video that there potentially would be three maps in that DLC. But I didn't want to get ahead of myself. But it looks like there could be three maps in this DLC. That's what I can get from this. In this little image where you got three different still images of zombies. Normally it's just one image of like the map. But we've got three pretty generic images of zombies. But this could also mean obviously that there could be three different maps. This could be like a still image from each map. But like other than this there's literally no zombies in this trailer. And I don't know what like they're thinking about not doing this. Because to my opinion like in my opinion the zombies community is a pretty big part to just leave out of a trailer. The multiplayer gameplay isn't the greatest either. So I think the trailer in general was probably quite rushed and like that's just my own opinion. Again, you might not think the same as me and like I don't want you guys to just think the same as me just because this is what I'm saying. I want you guys to actually have your own opinion and to like if you do have a conflicting opinion to put it down in the comment section below because I do like to look at other people's opinion. I know for a fact that some of you are going to have different opinions because some of you actually do like this game. That's completely fine with me. I don't take it personally. I like to see what you guys think and I like to see how you guys have conflicting arguments to the points that I make. But I just think this DLC trailer looks a little bit rushed and I think for some reason, one reason or another, obviously there's just no zombies. And I think it's because Activision chose there not to be any zombies in there. And if I worked a Sledgehammer, I would be pretty pissed that like, the work isn't being showcased in this trailer. Like they put in all the time and resources, effort, money, etc 
into making these maps or this at least this one DLC map whatever for zombies and it doesn't even get showcased in a trailer it's like this is the one point this is their selling point right now to say hey look at this map we're selling it to you guys right now come and get it and instead there's no zombies map whatsoever so that's basically my argument right there and I've I think I've managed to condense it down in about four or five minutes as opposed to a 15 minute like video. Basically that's it, like DLC 3 for Infinite Warfare last year did a similar thing where there was no trailer for DLC 3's Attack of the Radioactive thing. Again for DLC 3, so I don't know if that's like a coincidence, you know, the fact that it's both happening with DLC 3. But anyway, with Infinite Warfare, they released their DLC 3 trailer after the map released, but by the point the trailer was released, I had already done like the map inside out. I'd done all my tutorials for the map. I had seen the Easter egg ending cutscene. I had attempted the Easter egg quite a few times. I'd seen everything that there was to do with the map basically. Then they released the trailer. It's like I don't want to watch the trailer of the map after I've already played it. I want to watch the trailer before the map releases to hype me up, to want me to buy the map and just to like try and get the community together to play the map just for a week or a month or however long the map survives but with there no, not being any trailer like it just kills that vibe a little bit i'm really excited to play dlc3 don't get me wrong i i will still play it i probably won't do any tutorials because of the way i work i probably won't be home until about eight or nine like next tuesday which by the way it will be next tuesday when the map releases like so i'll be home at say eight o'clock if i do a tutorial it won't be like ready till nine it won't be out to like half nine ten o'clock at night in the UK and considering the map will be released at like five in the morning that will be like an entire day's worth of like people already releasing the tutorials by the time I get around to releasing the tutorial like all my viewership that I would have gotten they've already watched the tutorial so they won't watch my tutorial on the pack punch if they seen like somebody else's tutorial on the pack punch you know what I mean because it's such a generic video with me releasing it so late I just don't think I'm going to get much out of it so i probably won't do any tutorials for that that's my current standpoint won't do any tutorials but i will stream my first playthrough and i will also try and stream the map in general like a little bit more afterwards but i will go from there i will stream my first playthrough if i like the map i will carry on streaming it or playing it or doing videos on it i'll be happy to do that however if i don't like the map and i think it's a little bit of a flop then i won't enjoy doing videos on it and in that situation I will unfortunately not do any videos on it but i'll have to take it by ear and with that like i'll just see how it goes i'm still excited to play it and i'm gonna go into it with a new fresh mindset it's a little bit disappointing honestly that we don't get zombies in this trailer i was really hoping to see something but this is this is what they've chosen to do and i've already voiced my opinion in this video i think it's a terrible tactic to do that's just my opinion i'd like to see what you guys think down below if you think anything different so if you like the video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, hit the bell icon to never miss an upload from myself. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.